All right, guys, welcome to a video with me, the Stonk Dad. You guys know the deal. Every Sunday, I do a backtest video going over the convergence trades from Market Netflow. And I'm going to run through these really, really quick um, because I have a lo lot of stuff to do today. So I'm going to go through each and every day of the Market Netflow and then look at the convergence bars at the bottom. And uh, I kind of will explain a little bit more once I get into the charts, okay? Okay, so we're in the market net flow tool right here. You can see on your screen. And then uh, I have the spy uh, chart over here on the right side. But um, if you guys aren't familiar with my backtest videos, what I do every single Sunday is I uh, go through the last week's convergence trades. And what I mean by that is when these bars down here at the bottom flip a certain color, whether it's green or red, depending on what the flow is, um, we see how the price reacts to that and uh, if it's a winning trade or a losing trade and I just back test all of those and then compile all of them and see what the win rate was for this tool for that week. Uh, it's, pr it's pretty interesting as I go through this every single week because um, it has a pretty good win rate for the most part, about 70 to around 90% win rate for the most part and uh, the really good weeks are around 80 to 85 percent so uh, we're going to be doing that from what i remember last week it was phenomenal i was able to trade futures which is really awesome i was able to trade uh, futures contracts on the green convergence flips and make a lot of movie money make a lot of movie make a lot of money doing that um, so let's go on over to monday and if this still doesn't make any sense to you guys, please just uh, stick around. It'll make more sense to you. So if we go on Monday, um, we will see that the flow was actually kind of tra trash. So uh, I took a screenshot here. We're going to move it on over here. We're going to take our ruler out. And we'll see the uh, red convergence flips and the green convergence flips where they are. Now, I never count the first 15 minutes of the market. Um, I always ignore that for the most part. So you can see where red convergence flipped there. Obviously, that is a clear winner uh, right there. It went down about uh, a dollar or so on just that little downturn there from uh, where that flipped red. So that was a win. And then right here, you can see um, it got a small um, red convergence flip there. It looks like it flipped around there. Right there okay so it did go down a little bit but then it came back up pretty much to entry um, and you probably would have gotten out at break even or so or maybe if you're smart you would have uh, taken profits on that quick move down there um, so I am still gonna count that one as a win uh, and then obviously you can see here this one was uh, a small win there um, it went down once that triggered there so that's three wins on red convergence three for three not bad let me post this over here dun, dun, dun. okay so pretty much what i do uh for my strategy is i look for a big divergence in flow and in this case monday was pretty bad but um it looks like the right convergence would have uh worked out for the most part would have gotten you a little bit of gains not anything crazy but still it did a pretty good job at catching little moves there now when the flow is very divergent meaning when a certain uh, whether it be puts or calls if it's further away from each other those are going to be better trades for you to get in on the uh, convergence chart and you'll see here on uh, one of these next days so let's go on over to Tuesday See what I mean how uh, the put flow is a little bit higher than the, the green call flow? Now this is what I mean by a divergence. Uh, if it's the further away they are from one another, the better the trades are going to be. Um, so if I take a screenshot here, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so it looks like red convergence was active for a good hour uh, after the market opened. We got a nice um, downward momentum right when market opened. We came back up, retested, looks like a fair value gap, gap or so, and then tanked. So I will count that one as a win, even though it was the, within the first 15 minutes. Even if you got in um, like around this level and uh, had a stop loss at the high of day or something, you still would have ended up green um, because that moved down there, okay? 
And then it looks like it did flip uh, for a brief moment right there. That one I won't count because it's just so small. Um, but this one here was a clear winner. There. Move down. Boom. Win there. And then this one probably is going to be your loser. So see how we can kind of consolidate it. And then we went, eventually went up. But red convergence was there. So that one was a definite loss. And then it was a great convergence for most of the rest of the day. So that went two for three. Not bad. Not the best day. But um, let's look at these other days. I think Wednesday... And probably Thursday were a little bit better. Okay, here is Wednesday. We had bullish flow. And then uh, green convergence did amazing, it looks like. So it caught a good move here. Um, it looks like it triggered even towards the bottom here. Um, and then it flipped back. But we'll just count that one as a one. Obviously, that's a winner. That one went up about a dollar from uh, the highs here. 520 to 521. And then this one here did phenomenal as well, looks like. Looks like it didn't catch the exact bottom, but around there, probably around this level, you would have gotten in. Um, so that one was a good one, win. And then this one too, steady, steady move up. Just barely, about 50 cents or so. So that one was a win too. So three for three on Wednesday. Now. Let's move on to Thursday. Thursday was the crazy day. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see how well this worked. Okay. Oh, wow. Thursday actually was fantastic. Okay. So um, we had a big downward move uh, the last half of the day, but we did have bullish flow up until that point. Um, so you can see that it triggered around this level, um, 522, maybe a little bit above 522. But we did eventually hit 524 or maybe just below 524 before we had that downward move. So this green convergence was actually spot on very well. And then this red one was the only one uh, after that. And we that one caught a um, $6 move down <laughs> on SPY. So two for two on convergence there, fantastic. And then the last one is Friday. I think Friday did okay too. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it looks like it caught a baby move there. It looks like it flipped gray probably when we had this pullback from 518 to 517, but still nonetheless, um, a good move. And then this one was a clear winner. Big winner, actually, 517 to 520. And then it looks like this one is probably going to be your loss right here. Boom. Yeah, because we kind of trended down a little bit there. And then it flipped gray, and then this one made up for it right there boom so that one went three for four so if you guys aren't familiar with convergence at all that's basically all it, all it is it's just the strength of the price action relative to what the flow data is showing us okay and these are actually how i catch a good majority of my futures trades i just pay close attention to convergence i look at emas and i also look for uh, pullbacks to those emas and then it's a plus if that uh, convergence is green or red depending on which way i'm going and uh, you can catch some really really nice moves i i usually target around um, four to five points each trade on es and that's around 250 bucks or so. And that's pretty much one and done. That's all I need for the day. And you can catch that pretty easily just using utilizing flow and these uh, convergence bars here. So I think I posted that, that everything. Okay, yep. So let's tally it all up. We got four, six, nine, 12, 15 trades and how many losers? Two losers. So it went 13 for 15. That's actually pretty dang good. Let's see here, 13 divided by 15, 86% win rate guys. So um, just utilize, utilizing convergence last week um, would have netted you an 86% win rate. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, it, as long as you guys are disciplined in your trades, you, you will definitely succeed using this tool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little backtest video like I do every single week. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.